The Synoptic View is a powerful new viewport which allows you to build a custom control panel for any object in your scene. So here you can see what we've done is created this Synoptic View which allows you to very easily select different components of your character. So here I can select the arm and go ahead and freely move that around and then go on to perhaps the forearm or the spine, whatever. And you can see here we've got a couple other controls. Here I have one that allows you to reset the character. Uh, and hand controls. Here I can bring up sliders which allow me to individually control each finger or go ahead and set some different poses. And lastly, we have poses for the entire character. So these are very easy to set up. So let's take a look at how you build one of these simple synoptic pages. So let's go ahead and close this up. And we have our Manta character back here. And I'm just going to set one of my Mimo cams to put that in the proper position. And I'm just going to draw a render region around this. So we're going to let this finish rendering. And I'm going to go up here to my views and bring up the Synoptic Editor. Now what the render region will allow you to do is have an image that will allow you to then define different hotspots. So what we'll want to do is just say, bring in the image from the render region. And again, this would be a little bit faster if I wasn't recording this movie, but uh, let this finish. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and import that. And it's going to ask for a name here, so we'll just uh, overwrite the one that's already there. And now you can see what's in the render region has now been imported into my Synoptic Editor. So what I'm now going to do is define a couple hotspots. So we'll just select the circle here and define a hotspot there. Go ahead and give this a name of right hand. And let's just draw another one here for the left hand. Give it a name as well, left hand. And now click on the word scripts. And what that'll do is bring you to the script editor. So now it's asking for the subroutine for the left hand, what would you like to do in there? Now this could be a very lengthy script or one very simple like this. We're just going to go here and select the branch, select the, uh, the hand, and then go ahead and copy that line out of our script editor and paste that in here. Now let's go back to the page, click on this hotspot, and also then click scripts. And now you can see it's added a subroutine for the right hand. We'll go ahead and select the right hand. Again, copy this out of the script editor and paste that in here. So now if we go ahead and save this, we'll go ahead and save it as synoptic.htm, and again, replace the one that's already there. Close this up, and now I just have to tie the synoptic editor to this character. So branch select the character or any part of the character, and then go to your property, synoptic. And now it's simply gonna ask for a path name. So let's point that to the proper path, and give it a name. We'll call this, uh, selector. And now, any time that you click on this character, press the F3 button, it's going to bring up that selector character, and now you can then easily select the hand or anything else. You can also export this image or create your own image in any type of image editing software, bring that back in and create a more complex uh, synoptic view. So